morning to all. My name is Michaela Smith, an 11th grader, and today I'll be introducing our guest speaker, His Excellency Jamal Lowell, the Ambassador at Large of Cultural Affairs, was appointed by the Bahamas Ministry of Foreign Affairs and is known as the Celebrity Artist. Ambassador Rowell has achieved worldwide recognition as a bohemian visual artist for his lifelike portrait depictions of famous world figures such as government officials, entertainment celebrities, and sports stars. According to Wikipedia, during the 2009 U.S. presidential election campaign, Ambassador Rowell was inspired by then-presidential nominee Barack Obama and started the Bahama for Obama campaign, which used the phrase, I am the dream, during the 2008 U.S. presidential election. This dynamic and youthful ambassador of our great Bahama land truly inspires us, as his artistic expressions have made room for him, allowing him to sit in high places. He personifies our team languages in color by using color to express himself in a big way. At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome His Excellency, His Excellency Jamal Rowe. Thank you so much for that wonderful introduction. And it is an honor and pleasure to be here and to speak with you. As I, when I was in school, I, hated language class. It, I used to draw in language class. Language and math in all of my classes. In fact, I did a caricature of one of the teachers and one of my teachers, instead of paying attention to my lesson, and as we passed it around the class, everyone was laughing and the teacher saw it and Instead of scolding me, he paid me for it. I was so encouraged by that until I started to collect newspapers. And I saw the cartoons on the newspaper drawn by sideburns. And every day I would bug my dad, we need a newspaper, I need a newspaper. And I just really used to look at it for the cartoons and to get a story from it. After collecting so much newspapers, I started to just read the articles. Inadvertently, I just started to see the headlines and, and I just became interested in, in news, in the happenings of what, you know, what's going on in the country. And I then started to draw what was happening in my school in the style of a caricature artist and couldn't wait to read the papers to see what's next, what ideas I could use, what techniques I could form, how I could translate this news into an artistic form. This was over 20 years ago. In hindsight, that moment was preparing me to become the editorial cartoons for one of the country's leading newspaper, the Tribune newspaper, as I became the editorial cartoonist, where I drew caricatures and cartoons of various politicians, even one of our, our speakers. He's appeared in my cartoon several times. It gave me an opportunity to relate to what's going on in my country, to relate to a lot of people, to learn how to speak, as I am constantly asked to speak in various places. One of the things that has helped me is words, and they do help me every day, because to get me to really like words or to remember anything what I would do is I would draw something. So rather than to remember the word, I would create a drawing from the word. And that was just this unorthodox way of helping me to learn it, helping me to, if I'm feeling bad, I would draw a word. I would write a word and then turn it into a drawing and it would make me feel better. 
So I would like to share my screen to give you some examples of how you can use some words and create them, create some drawings that can help make you feel better. Okay, I'm using a, a program. I'm doing this digitally. And one of the things that make me feel better is I have a little dog, his name is London. So what I would do is write the word dog. And what I would do is use this word dog and turn this into, try to turn this into a dog. And so what I do is use this letter D and create a line from here, create another line from here, create some eyes, create some nose, the nose, make ears. Okay, I forget how to do this. And this is very um, interesting. It's an interesting way to help you with troubleshooting things. Like how do I figure out how to create this dog from this word? Just that we get a tongue. Let me do his bottom lip. Let me add a neck, probably put a collar on him. Um, okay, and there's my dog. Uh, let's try another one. Okay, I have two cats. Cat is C-A-T. So I want you to practice this. What I do is I turn that into I, that's C, and I turn this A. Into an I. How do we make this cat work? We get some airs. We have some nose. We have the nose. Some whiskers. Yes, so you see how I've just figured it out. Like how, how do I make this work? Let's try another one. I, I'm very hungry, so I'm excited to have some pizza after this. So pizza. Just follow along and I want you to try these things and just practice it and you would figure out some ways and some techniques of your own. So what I'll do is use this as to create the crust of the pizza. Uh, Let's probably put some pepperoni, my favorite type of pizza. Let's use this as a part of the slice. Let's make some cheese strip, the big slice of pizza. Uh, this could probably be a mouth. It's taking a big bite out of the pizza. I mean, and so I'm, I'm here to show you that with simple words and how you apply it, use these hacks. I call them life hacks. Sometimes just writing words and creating drawings. It helps you out of situations. Sometimes 
um, you're feeling down and, and bored, I just I would just doodle and challenge myself to use words and turn them into art. art. And every day I would create something new and I would challenge myself. And what I want to say to you that never let nobody tell you that you can't make it. Um, I never thought that I would become ambassador for cultural affairs as I just wanted to draw. I just wanted to make word cartoons. I just wanted to record what's happening in my country in an artistic way. I just never knew that reading a newspaper, which started off from me drawing the cartoons from the newspaper, will take me to the level of wanting to learn more about what's happening in the country. And it, it taught me to be a good writer, to um, come up with stories and be, being sought out from major newspapers to work for them from all over the world. I just had a contract with the Tribune. So, but after seeing my drawings internationally, I've been sought out to, to do a drawing. I had an audience with Pope Francis. I went to, to Italy to create a portrait for him, Prince Harry. Um, Prince William, and I even got a letter from President Obama. And all of this started from here, Nassau, Bahamas. I sit in the same seats. I live in the, the same, same country as you. It started from here with a dream. And I want to let you know that being creative, you don't have to be inside of a box. Being creative is just that, just being creative, creating a way out. And these, I just wanted to share some of the techniques, some of the hacks, some of the tips that I use that involves words and being creative. So thank you.